Hey guys, this is Dr. Ahmed Ergen. I'm an endocrinologist. Today I am going to talk to you about chocolate. Now, can a diabetic have a chocolate? Uh, maybe. Yeah, of course you can. Here's how. So basically, you should go stick with the dark, dark chocolate. At least 70% of dark chocolate. Do you want to know more? Let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so I said 70% dark chocolate you can have. Now, one thing you have to pay attention to is also carbohydrates. How much carbs is in there? Uh, typically, when it's dark chocolate, it's not going to have a lot of carbohydrates. And as long as you keep your portion small, typically like one portion of these dark chocolate has 170 calories. There's a lot of fat in there. That's true. And there's a lot of saturated fat. But... No, saturated fat is not necessarily bad for you. Now, what is bad for you is the trans fats, right? Trans fats you have to avoid. And uh, But in this case, uh, chocolate has so many other benefits. Now, chocolate, dark chocolate, has been proven to actually improve insulin secretion and reduce insulin resistance when, you know, uh, consumed in moderation. But also, chocolate has these things in it. Let's have a look at it. Fiber, iron, magnesium, copper, manganese, potassium, phosphorus, zinc, selenium. Now, all those vitamins and minerals are actually very important for your body, for your hair, for your skin, and for your insulin resistance. I would recommend actually consuming dark chocolate as a dessert. If you, are, have, if you have a sweet tooth and you are craving for something sweet, I would say dark chocolate for you should be the way to go because of the antioxidant properties, uh, because it also helps reduce the insulin resistance. It will potentially help to prevent cardiovascular disease as well. What else chocolate can do? Chocolate can actually, interestingly, stimulate the nitric oxide from the endothelium cells from the arteries. Endothelial cells are the lining under arterial cells, and as we discussed in the previous videos, when your endothelial cell is damaged or when there's not enough nitric oxide production, it can lead to high blood pressure. Now, high blood pressure is also another risk for cardiovascular disease. So in your case, definitely, if, if you can help your blood pressure even a few points, that will definitely help. What also it does is it basically increases your HDL level. As a result, every time your insulin resistance improves, your HDL level should improve. Um, but also, it prevents the LDL from oxidation because it has a lot of antioxidant properties. As you can remember from the cholesterol video, which, where we talked about um, how cholesterol actually does damage to your body. And if you want to find the link below, please uh, click on that to for more information. But definitely, uh, it will prevent the LDL from oxidation, which leads to atherosclerosis. So I found actually a few good products on Amazon, and I have included the links below if you want to check them out. Not every product is as good. I have tried to select the good ones for you. Let me know what you think. Guys, remember to subscribe, and remember to give a thumbs up and share this video with the family and friends. Oh, 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 oh,